In this tutorial, I want to take the step further from this automatic generation of zones, as we can see here, shown in another video on how to do this. But if you want to go the step further, go into space planning, play around with how these different functions for this project is arranged in this mass. You can do this by using different kind of method. You could of course go in and grab it and use Revit objects to work with the space planning. But if you want to keep it on a conceptual level using simple forms, masses in this case, you could use Versailles for this. First step is to create a new design set with design options. So I go to the icon down here. To summarize from previous videos, I have design sets for each design phase. So first I've been working with mass concepts and now I want to go into space planning on how these are arranged with the different functions. So I start by create a new option set, calling it something logical, as I've done here. Mass space layout. I prefer to have the first design option as an empty option, so I have the possibilities, possibility in the view to have none of the design options. And then I just create as many I need of the design options. And I'm always typically selecting the empty as a primary and then inside the view I specify which option I want to see or work with. And to create new design option I just have the cursor under that design option I want to create a new option in and say new so I will work in this option 4 in this tutorial and close. Second step is to copy this mask concept into the design option of space planning. So instead of having show mass surface I say show mass form. Because of this mask concept is inside of a, another design set an option I need to copy this to clipboard and I do that by select the mask concept click Control c on the keyboard, going to that design option I want to put it into, and that was the space layout option 4, and go to modify and say paste, same place, and then we can see this mask concept is copied into this mass option of mass space layout option 4, as we can see in the properties. In some cases I prefer to have only shown the mass concept when I want to plan the different function inside the mass. So I create a specific view for that. I could also work together with the context because sometimes the context also giving some feedback on where to place these different functions. And in general the different spaces should be placed on different kind of analysis both environmental, context, social and so on. A last thing to prepare that is a schedule so you control the square meters for these different space types or space functions. This I'm also showing in a other video on how to create these schedules. Just to mention shortly, that is for schedule you can also choose which design option you want to see and for this one I've choose the option 4 as I this example. And then I arrange the windows so I can see both the schedule and the modeling view. At the moment we see the square meters of the form concept here, but we want to break it up in different functions. In relation to a space program, here is a simple space program for this project. Now I want to start up placing these different space types, and in this example I will use the mass family method we have earlier on shown in another video how to create these parametric space objects. You could say the method is the same if you're using the mass family or the in-place family method. So this is the family and here we have different types and these types is for each of the space functions. So if I need one more I could right click, say duplicate, rename it to lobby for example and press enter. Then I can drag this into the modeling window like this and place it. And here it's important that the levels is shown in the view or else it will not recognize these work plane it can be placed on. But they are turned on in this view. And then I can select the object and say I want to have a space color for this. So it's easy to see the different space types. 
click on, on this parameter that is built into this family and change the material. And here I already created some materials that I use for space planning. I'll take this yellow one, it's just a simple color on this material. And now I can see the difference as long as I'm in the mode of shaded or system colors. So now I have choose that the lobby have a yellow color and have it to appear in the schedule I need to create this into mass floors. So I select the object, click on mass floors, click all the levels. Don't need to but it's a good idea if you move the object up then you don't have to do this again. Press enter and now we can see it appears in the schedule. We have lobby here and we have which levels is positioned on and the square meters. And if you look at the base program, the lobby atrium should have around 250 square meters. For this I could type in, so I attach this information to this space object to have it both visually in the properties and in the schedule for mass floors. The best way is to use the comments. So in here I could type 250 in and still have it selected. And when I have created into mass floor, I can see here on the gross floor area comes the square meters. So this should be around 250. And if I just move this a little bit, we can see here at the lobby, it have a column with the common information from this space object. So I can control this with the total floor area. And when I've placed all the different function and give them different colors and created them into mass laws, I can start to work with the space planning. Then I could start with the open office area and place the close to the model. Sometimes it's easier to model in the top view, so I can say like that on the view cube. And I can use the move tool, let's say it should start here in the corner. And this warning tells me there is something going on. I need to look at it, just tilting the view. This is a new thing in the beta 3 version. It take over the mass for the objects I'm trying to put in an existing mass object. It's a little bit annoying, but I have to unjoin these two elements and then recut them from each other again. So I activate the uncut geometry, see if I can select the just placed space function and after that select the big mass. Then these two are separated from each other. And then I need to go to the cut and say I want to cut something away from the big object with this small object. And then we can see if we isolate this one down the sunglasses and say isolate element, we can see this is removed from the big one. Reset, go to top view again. So because I've created this mass family with shape hands, I can easily easily drag this space bigger and we can all the time see how the square meters is decreasing. Let's keep it a little bit simple in this example with the place and the size of these spaces and we can see this object is not high enough so I can take the shape panel or I could just type in under the properties and it snap to some of the other geometry and if I not can snap right, then I can just type in the right height of this space that is 4000 in this example. Let's say we have some spaces that is the same all the way up on all the floors. It could be the toilets, moving it into the other shape as done before. This one makes the same thing that I need to rejoin this from the bigger volumes. Select uncut geometry, select the placed space first and then the other mass. Then we can drag it higher by take the shape handles and move it up. Keep the object selected and go to top view. In this way it will be zoomed around the object that is selected. And now I can edit the size of the object, place it correct. Let's say it's something like that is inside this object and a little bit in the other object. Let's go to this view. Sometimes it's necessary to cut this object again using the cut. Maybe use multiple cuts. Select the object you want to cut and then the object to cut. Now this green space, the toilets, have four rows in the schedule. That's because it have floors on four floors. So now it calculates the total of 260 and as we can see in the column of comments it should be 250. So it's pretty close to the demand and in this way you can build all these different space types into the form concept. And the smart thing is that if you not have filled everything out, the form concept will fill out the missing part. So you always have the right square meters. This could be the result of space planning. And when you're working with the, with the planning, it can be effective to use the new functionality. When you select an object, then you get the option of displays elements sometimes easier to see what's going on inside the model if you have a more complex model than this one. 
or you could use it for presentation showing how this building proposal is exploded in the different functions and maybe give them different tags or text to describe this is the canteen and this is the atrium for example so this is a quite cool new feature both for the modeling process but also for a presentation purpose to summarize in this tutorial I have shown how to use Versailles for space planning this space planning model can also be used for, for energy analysis shown here with the show Mars surface or the zones we can see here it have created a zone for each of the space objects here on the left here on right we have the automatically generated zone model done by Vasari